Hey guys, welcome to another Kyosho Mini Z unboxing video. Just had a box arrive yesterday from Japan, coming by a ship that took more than two months. So I've already opened the box and had a quick look through what's in there. So I'll show you what I got on this this one. So I finally found one of these Porsche 911 GT1 cars for a decent price. So it looks much better in person than it usually does in the photos because in the photos they often take a picture from above where it just looks like a flat roof. But when you see it three-dimensionally you see it looks fantastic. So I also got another Mazda RX-7 body shell because I love how it looks, but unfortunately, while well, it was on the way from Japan, I realized that it traction rolls like crazy on my track. So I'll probably end up selling this one off. So it's brand new in the box. It's just the body that goes on a Mini Z or a first Mini Z. And I'm a real fan of the BMW M3s, even though they're quite an old M3 model. I tend to find things like Volkswagens, BMWs and Porsches all tend to look more or less the same over the years because they don't change the designs particularly much. So this one it looks like it's the Yokohama one and I think there's only one left of the race car ones because I'm not going to bother with the plain white one to stick to the race cars. I think it's um, the Siemens one that I know that Mossy has um, so I've been looking for that one for a decent price, but haven't come across it yet. So, lucky me, I came across another one of these super rare 2003 limited edition 1 of 200 purple Nissan GTR R34s. So, I thought I couldn't resist. So. I won't say how many of them I have at the moment because it would shock you but you could almost call me a collector of these purple ones because let's just say I've got multiple ones of them. And also because I've been buying quite a lot of bodies I decided to buy a lot of chassis just to mount them on in display cases. So um, These chassis are usable at 90mm, 94 and 98 and some of them have got the narrow axle at the front and some of them got the wide axle. So I recognise the wheels on that one. I know it's an Enzo Ferrari, so that'll mean it's got the wide axle at the front, which is good. And I can tell by looking at some of the others that the narrow axle at the front. And I also got a whole set of wheels that came with one of the, the chassis I bought, so all sorts of different wheels there. I can tell there's McLaren F1s in there, which means offset zero narrows and offset zero wides. I haven't actually looked to see what else is in there. I didn't really care at the time to be honest, because I was after the, the chassis and this was thrown in with it. So it took me a long time to get this next one for a a decent price and in the end I can only find it as a body only but it's a brand new body and it might look familiar because it's a Kelsonic Nissan 350 GTC um, but the subtle difference is it's a 2004 edition which you can tell by the very subtle little black things on the back um, so now I've got the set 2004, 2005 and 2007 for this car and I love how this car looks and I love how it drives. So it's one of my favourites on the track. Now I'm going to have to clear a bit of space here so I'll just move a few things out of the way. So as you can see this isn't um, me getting many more auto scales because I've reached the point where I'm not really buying any more of those. I'm now focused on cars to drive on the track. So. Once I've found a few bodies that I like, I've been getting some spares of them 
And then when something comes up that interests me, I might just grab it at the same time, like definitely this Porsche. I wanted it for a while. And uh, when one came up and it wasn't cheap, but I uh, thought, well, it's not as expensive as some of the others I've seen, so I grabbed it. And of course, I love these purple Nissan GTR limited editions. I absolutely adore them. So when another one came up, I couldn't resist. Right, so I must admit that the next thing I'm going to show you, um, I usually read the descriptions of things for sale very carefully and compare the photos with the descriptions, but I guess I was either short of time or maybe distracted when I looked at this one. The description said it's a Kyosho Mini Z GTR, but I could tell in the photos it's actually a Nissan 350Z, so I decided to buy it. And, uh, when it turned up, it was quite a surprise. So what it was meant to be, or at least what I thought it was from the description, is a 27 megahertz, really old Mini Z chassis with the body on top with very little damage going by the pictures. But um, unfortunately, I didn't study it well enough to know that the reality is it turned out to be this. So. What is it? I don't know exactly, but my first assumption would be perhaps it's a Tamiya. I don't know, but um, <laughs> it's, uh, it was quite a shock to be thinking I'm getting a, a Mini Z and end up with one of those. So it doesn't happen every day. And, um, <laughs> so it's been a bit of fun and because I like this car, I think it looks good as a big version too. So I think I'll just clean that up because it's um, dirty, hasn't been cleaned up by the person that was selling it and um, I think I'll just put that on display because it I think it looks good in that size so they don't all have to be little mini Z's to look nice to me so it's about three times the length so it's fair to say it's going to be considered a one-tenth scale and um, chassis underneath it's really old the differential seems to work I haven't um, got any radio gear to try it with uh, it's rear wheel drive, I can tell, or the diff if it was front to rear is broken, so I just assume it's a rear wheel drive. Um, so it's possible I might make an effort at some stage to get it up and running again, swap the radio gear over, but that's unlikely, so it'll just be a display model. So that's all I have from the box from Japan. Uh, I've got another box on the way from Japan, it's probably still a month or so from when it might arrive in Australia and then it usually takes up to a week from that point before I get it. So um, I'll keep what's coming in that box a surprise and do a reveal when it gets here. So thanks for watching guys, hope you saw something of interest and um, if you're interested in seeing how my cars go on main door track, check out some of the videos of me driving them if that's of interest. See ya.